Right now, let's focus on something rather inspirational. Now, while a large, per large percentage of us grow up focused on what we're going to do with our lives, people like Maria Grewal are busy factoring in how they are going to assist others in their lives. Now, Maria is the founder of the Retrade Project, a smart, effective recycling and social upliftment initiative in Port Elizabeth. And we paid her a visit. When we started the Retrade Project, we really wanted to move away from the concept of giving handouts. We were based in a church, and the typical church model is to give away food parcels. And instead of giving people a hand out, we wanted to see how we could give them a, a real hand up, where they could bring us something in exchange for something, thus restoring dignity and work ethic and responsibility and just a sense of self-respect, you know. The basic model of Retrade is to sustainably provide a community in need with an opportunity to be environmentally responsible while gaining access to food or basic essentials. Our entire shop runs off a bartering system where we barter trash or recyclable goods, as we like to say, for basic essentials. So food, toiletries, blankets, coats and shoes. And we will allot a certain amount of points to the recycling that comes in. And then those points are exchanged for basic goods inside our store. Maria works in tandem with social worker Jessica Ronason. These traders gain dignity, they gain a sense of work ethic and responsibility. We have traders who have built their own carts to help with bringing more recycling and as they take on the sense of pride in the work that they do, they then themselves, their self-esteem is improved and they create a market for themselves where they can compete for commodities like groceries, which they wouldn't be able to do in a store without any money. To me, it means a lot because it is helping people who doesn't work or people who doesn't get so much. So it's giving them at least something that when they're going home, they've got something to give to their children or families, whoever is at home. Very good. Thank you, Wilson. Hey, thank, thank you. you. And my friend is a gardener, and he said to me, Wilson, you are struggling. So check for something, cardboards, two liter drink and take it to that trade, they need it. The stuff that I bring here, I collect from the town houses, from the rubs, from the, from the street. I look for something so that I can bring it here. It helps me because I'm not working. It's how I get food. At the moment, we assess a lot of our recycling on the amount of waste that comes in. So presently, our traders know that one clean sorted bag of recycling is equal to about 10 points if it's really, really full. If it's half full, it's about five points. And for instance, a tin of baked beans is 10 points. So we wanna know that someone could come with one bag of recycling and leave with at least one tin of baked beans so that we know they at least have a full tummy by the end of the day. Recycling is available to everyone all over South Africa. So this is such an easy initiative to start in your own community. Um, we would love to be able to give advice and help anyone that would be interested. They could contact us. Um, and if there are people in Port Elizabeth that would also like to get involved, we'd love that. We would love co-workers in our field. So anyone that's in the recycling industry or is in the food industry that could perhaps help with donations. Our volunteers play a key part in what we're doing here, building relationship, getting to know the guys, helping them with their faith journey, helping them with their life journey. Um, we want to be a holistic project, not just helping in one hand, but also on the other. Reaching across cultural and socioeconomic boundaries with compassion, Maria and her Retrade team are doing a great job empowering people in our community to become self-sufficient. From there, many more things become possible.